Well, Rick, take a look at Long Beach right now. You're going to see just a gorgeous shot for you this evening. A little bit of cloud cover making its way into Southern California, but for the most part, we are expecting a similar forecast as we head into the next 24 hours. There's that high surf advisory we've been talking about. Amazing, amazing waves again down in Orange County at the wedge earlier today as we just saw, and we are expecting waves to continue five to seven foot waves at this point. But again, at spots again like the wedge, much higher than that into the teens, sets into the teens there. So this is an effect through tomorrow evening so still expecting that southerly swell to really kick up those waves over the next 24 hours and other than that we're just expecting a similar forecast over the next 24 hours looking at mostly clear conditions a little bit of cloud cover expected tomorrow but pretty nice conditions tomorrow as well temperatures currently into the 60s 62 in downtown as we head over to Beverly Hills 62 degrees Inglewood at 62 and as we head over to Orange County the spot for the big waves you'll see right here Huntington at 63 degrees as we head over to Long Beach 63 in the city of Carson 63 degrees as well. So we're going to break down temperatures for you tomorrow and of course we've got that weekend forecast coming up in just a little bit. Back to you. Uh, thanks. Wow. Um, now what? a little later on we don't mm -hmm. give anything away but you're going to have some pets or some yes. photos of some cute and animals. And your <gasps> pet might be in there or your pet. Right. Just wow. You shall see. And you'll explain why that is. It? <laughs> yeah, so, we're going to yeah. explain it. It's so really a cute segment. You have to stay tuned for that. Very exciting yeah. and very cute. Okay. So we're going to have that in a little bit. But we're going to make all of you hold on just a bit for that. We'll have your forecast right now. Of course, we'll be talking about all the pets coming up a little later in the hour. So let's take it outside now as we do. Still light out there actually getting a look from our Sierra cam, mostly clear conditions and it's still pretty mild. In fact, we're looking at 60s. We warmed it up a bit today. Temperatures were still below average for this time of year, but as we head into tomorrow, could stay maybe near average. So we're warming it up just a little bit and then we're cooling it right back down again. So we're going to have all of that in your five day in just a few minutes, but checking in with temperatures right now. 50s, but mostly 60s out there. Beverly Hills at 60 degrees, 63 in downtown. If you're wondering what all that red highlighting is on your screen, well, that's a high surf advisory that's in effect through tomorrow night. Seeing some very, very big waves, especially along the Orange County coastline at the wedge. But we are expecting a very large southerly swell to continue to affect the coast. Southerly facing beaches, they're south facing beaches. So we're expecting sets between five and seven feet, maybe even waves above that, just like we've seen again in Orange County. So we're tracking the tide, tracking the waves, and of course tracking temperatures as well. Currently 62 in Cerrito, 62 in Fullerton, and Santa Ana currently at 62 degrees. So earlier today, we made it to 70 in downtown. So it got a little warmer yesterday rolling into the 60s, so still below average, but as we head into tomorrow, could get a little closer. Downtown getting up to 71 degrees, a little bit of cloud cover out there as well with temperatures starting off into the 60s, but here's the drill. Your weather headline showing you that we're warming up as we head to tomorrow. Not only are we warming up, but we're cooling down as we head into the weekend, so just got to enjoy tomorrow while it lasts if you like the warmer weather. Over the weekend, we could possibly see some fog, maybe even some drizzle, uh, mainly along the coast, but again, that fog could really produce that drizzle and and then we're expecting another warm up next week. So a little bit of a roller coaster, warmer and then cooler and then warmer again. You'll see that in your forecast right here. There is that trough of low pressure starting to move eastward. High pressure eventually building in. Then we're looking at low pressure dipping down to the forecast and that is actually going to cool us down. And then we're expecting another little warm up. So we're going to break that all down for you coming up in your five day forecast. Of course, we're going to have all those cute pet pictures coming up in just a little bit as well. Rick Sharon, back to you. All righty. Day to be outside. Nice. I love yep. having sunshine. Yeah. I bet all of oh. you do too. I mean, yeah, really. I know I do. Right. I'm ready for it and I'm ready for some more, which is good because we have more as we head into tomorrow. But don't get too used to it is all I have to say. So we're going to take you outside right now. And as we do, well, Mount Wilson showing you mostly clear conditions a little bit of low cloud cover making its way into the forecast and eventually uh, that's going to build as we head into the weekend. So we'll have more on that coming up a little later, but you'll see temperatures right now generally into the 60s. If you're wondering what that red highlighting is, well, we're under a surf advisory through 6 p.m. tomorrow evening, expecting five to seven foot waves along south facing beaches. You'll see right here, though, temperature wise, we're at 60 in Westminster, Huntington Beach at 60 and Long Beach. You're currently at 62 degrees. So earlier today we got up to 70. Average is about 74 degrees. So we were a few degrees below that record temperatures 95. So we didn't get anywhere close to that. 
and not getting anywhere close over the next 24 hours. We're dipping down into the 50s, then we're up into the 60s first thing in the morning and by the afternoon we're up to about 71 degrees for downtown. Not too shabby, a little warmer and a little bit of sunshine out there as well. So here's the drill. Your weather headline showing you a warm up as we head into tomorrow. A little warmer tomorrow, but cooler as we head to the weekend. Keeping it cool Saturday into Sunday, even into the first part of next week. And along with cooler temperatures, well, we're expecting that fog to really thicken up over the weekend. And with that, we could potentially see some drizzle as we head into the weekend, mainly along the coast into the morning hours. But that chance is really feasible pretty much for everybody, even into your inland spots as well. And then we're warming up next week. So we're going to have more on that warm up coming up in your five day forecast in just a little bit. Rick Sharon, back to you. All right. And looking at a little bit of a warm up, but not lasting for too long. We're going to break down your entire forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Well, we can't win. We can't win. They, I know. You guys but we submitted our pictures can't. anyways, even yeah. though yeah, exactly. we can't we're win. We're playing anyway. We're just yeah. proud mommies and daddies. Exactly. We had Sharon's dog last night. We might have Rick's dog coming up. We got my dog. We all got dogs. Yeah, so, we all? yeah, we all wanted to throw them in there, but we're not eligible but we're trying anyway. So we're going to have that coming up for you in a few minutes. First, though, we do want to take you outside to the pier. Great weather out there because take a look at how many people are out on the pier. That's usually a good indicator that it's pretty decent outside. We're into the 50s. We're into the 60s. We're dealing with high surf actually along the coast. In fact, a high surf advisory currently in effect, staying in effect through tomorrow, expecting five to seven foot waves along south facing beaches and even higher than that, even bigger waves. Spots like the wedge earlier today, waves getting up into the teens. Very impressive. So a big southerly swell coming in right now and on top of that we're actually looking at mostly clear conditions a little bit of cloud cover eventually making its way back into southern california but at this point we're focusing on that warm up we're warming up a bit as we head into tomorrow but we're cooling it down all over again as we head into the weekend. Not only are we cooling it down, that marine layer is really going to start to thicken up over the weekend. And as it does, we're expecting maybe a chance of drizzle. So this could last into the weekend. But if you like the warmer weather, we're at it again next week. We are warming it up as we head into the later part of next week. As we head into the next 24 hours, though, dipping down to the 50s for the basin, up into the 60s first thing in the morning, and up to about 71 degrees by the afternoon. A little bit of sunshine, a little bit of cloud cover out there, but should be a a pretty pleasant day. Nice alliteration there. A pretty pleasant day all around as we head into tomorrow. You'll see right here the valleys in the Inland Empire. Plenty of sunshine over the next couple of days, but by Sunday and Monday, a chance of drizzle with cooler temperatures, warmer temperatures, though, as we head into Tuesday, upper 70s, possibly getting to the 80s as we get a little closer to Memorial Day. For the basin and for Orange County, we're warming it up. We're expecting very mild temperatures as we head into Saturday, cooling it down with a chance of drizzle as we head into Sunday, as we head into Monday as well and then warming it up a good 10 degrees as we head to Tuesday of next week and closer to Memorial Day does look like we have a much nicer warmer forecast for you but until then